Sorry guys, real, real quick, I gotta tweet out this match. Oh man. Oh. Getting some drops from Jonathan there. Right now, like, super last hit on this uh, first stock here. Uh, you know, Rob, not the quickest character, but has quite a few options to just kind of, like, open up situations. And uh, Jay Grunt's going to have to try and, like, get get in a little bit more because now at blah, 150, going to counter the gyro and just shoot him directly upward into the sky, which is what then Josh then goes, you know what, that was a good idea. Let me try that too. And evening up those stocks. Now we just got basically a game two match, right? Uh, a game two, a two stock match here. And uh, now let's see if they, I guess, both learn from their first stock interactions. <laughs> it already seems that Jay Grun has definitely like begun to mix up his approaches, uh, basically acting untouchable and dealing on some pretty decent damage. Whoop. Okay. Ooh, a really nice bait on that forward air. He thought he was gonna finally like try and go in and try and stuff his landing. But now he went, I'll wait. Do your thing. And they just gave him a quick slash for that. So now basically a full stock lead here uh, for Jagron. Really nice adaptation. Uh, and just trying to be as evasive as he possibly can. Joshin really has his work cut out for him. What is he going to do about it? Jocelyn finally going to get that stock, but at what cost? 100 damage. Well, Rob is a fairly heavy character and can hit really hard. So this is definitely a lead for Jagrun. There's no uh, there's no two ways about it. But uh, if Jocelyn does play his cards right, gets the next few exchanges, he, he could even this up and kind of t take this down to the line. Right now, his back is up against the line, so he's got to be pretty careful. And yeah... Beginning to string some pretty decent stuff together. Already racking on 60 damage. Uh, all right. And honestly, with like the way these two characters go about getting kills, if we're gonna keep seeing forwarders from across the stage like that, you know, we might see Josh and La live a little bit longer because if he's able to get a like a grab or something, uh, killing off the top, that distance never changes. The variable thing is where uh, is horizontally. Okay, look, he went for the air dodge this time. Great uh, awareness, knowing that he was going to try and go for the same thing. And that's going to be the stock, I'm pretty sure. Yep. All right. So, uh, even though Jocelyn was beginning to make a comeback, Jagrun was still a few few steps uh, far ahead enough. And he saw that he was making the comeback, and he knew what he had to do to seal it out. Uh, I'm glad that he tried to 
He went for something that went where it worked earlier and then didn't force it after the fact and it you know he let it come to him. Uh, that's something I, I always want to see from players, so very nice. Ooh, yep, there it is. Oh. Yeah, I really like that uh, weight on punishing that that nair right there. You know, Jojen being like, "Stu, how would I be so stupid? He baited me like a." Uh. I pretend. Welcome back. Uh, we're gonna be getting into game two. Uh, New song. Oh sure. Yeah, I like this song, but. Okay. So running it back to PS2. Um, yeah, just to fill you in, uh, Jay Grant started off pretty darn strong. Uh, Joshton almost brought it back on the last stock, but before it could get too dangerous for Jay Grant, he was able to seal it out. Nice. Good for him. Yeah, so let's see uh, what adjustments can be made. I'm always a fan of like players who want to like keep the stage uh, the same. So that the mm -hmm. thing that changes it themselves, and really just seeing how their approaches like evolve. And uh, right now we're seeing a complete five. turnaround from Josh, then dealing basically all a hundred damage, only taking like one hit. It is one of the benefits of uh, Best of Five that you're allowed to kind of experiment with the stage a little bit if you're down, and see yeah. like what kind of uh, how the player that you're fighting really tackles the stage you're playing on. Jonathan again, like he likes to go for those side beams when it's not very safe to do so. Ooh. Uh, that one was not super dangerous, but you know, it's, it can be really risky at times. Okay. All right. All right, up throw might do it. No, he didn't go for it. All right. So even though uh, Jagron has his back against the wall here. Hasn't really given uh, Josh then an op an opportunity to like really put in a kill move. Um, although honestly, Josh really hasn't given Jagron any time to like make any comeback, land any damage. Forty six damage is really not really much to uh, write home about, and that's going to be the first stock there. Nice uh, read on the ledge roll and pivot grab. I like the patience from Joseph, and he's not trying to, uh, he's not trying to finish the stocks, he's just trying to put on as much damage to make Jay Grunt nervous. Yeah. And then, uh, eventually get that kill, and that's, like, a very undervalued trait for a lot of players. Yeah, just it's wait, like, just let the kill happen. If you're just harassing your opponent, like, they're being harassed. Let the, oh my god, he even did, like, the fast rob up E thing. He was so close to that. Jesus! You don't need to Oh my goodness, this lead is kind of great. Jonathan again going for the side B, like sometimes he does go with walls to the wall to go for the kill. Like he's doing it at times where he's going to be very minimally punished if he does so. So it's kind of acceptable, but oh, eh, why that's did you, death though. Why did you try to like uh, Land with challenge it? Just, just make it back down to the ground. Yeah, I don't get it either, but... Like don't challenge, might be the I want you to challenge. Yeah, it might be the thing that ends up turning the match around for, uh, for Jager. He's not careful, but a really good up air, and now we have an awesome full stock lead. Yeah. That's one of the things about Greninja that's like really tough about playing him is that you do need to try to force the kill sometimes. So if you're fighting a zoner character like Rob and you're not able to properly open him up, it'd be very difficult to, to make that comeback. Uh, if you're not like playing optimally, or if they're not giving you the opening. All right, good parry from uh, Jagron, but he overextended and got nared for trouble. I <laughs> okay, that was kind of amazing. Yeah, yeah, I I agree, honestly. <laughs> that was that was a scary situation. <laughs> <laughs> I just never seen like a Greninja whip there like by half an inch, and then just get grabbed like that. 
Yeah, yeah it's like, what, right, it's what, what level of confidence do you have? I mean, like, yeah, he's going to whiff. I'm going to get him. <laughs> it wasn't like, if he was shielding it wouldn't have worked, but because he wasn't shielding that was it worked perfectly. Yeah. Alright, Jagron actually uh, doing a really good job of like racking on a lot of percent, but kinda too late too little too late because now he's got a whole sock that he has to deal with. But honestly, you know I kinda feel like historically He's gonna go for it. This is it. where I think Joshathan is at his weakest. I, I feel like once once it's the win condition of the of the entire game, uh, I think he gets a little bit dude tunnel vision. But that two frame like, just nice. puts Jagrin in such a bad position, and it made it like so easy for Joshathan to cover the recovery like so well. That two frame was nuts, dude. Yeah. Never forget that uh, Greninja just doesn't have a great ledge great ledge map. So like if your character has an option to two frame with, you should probably go for it. And Rob has a really good one in the form of down tilts, which is very safe. Okay. So where are we going? I mean, he's already challenged the upper like a fool. Why wow, you were at you were 90 after hit. You had so much to lose. Yeah, no, he really did. He like, should just why? should just rocket it up and just stay in the air. Yeah, just come back from the side. You have more than enough fuel. All right, yeah, we're going back to PS2. Oh, uh, he tried to back throw a uh, gyro. I'm forgetting that the gyro was already on the center stage. All right, now you know uh, we're seeing some pretty good updation just because of the fact that like before things were just like kind of in one's favor like heavily. At least now you know both percents are relatively orange. Although Josh is turning red pretty quickly. Oh, oh man. man, those PS2 platforms, man. They are lower than other platforms in this uh, in the game. Higher. Like, they're higher? I thought they were a little bit lower. All right, my bad. Yeah. Thank you for the correction. Uh, they're a little bit higher, so it makes it it makes up smash still pretty hard to land consistently for Greninja. Yeah. <clears throat> Pardon me. I love like, that Joshua just read the jump in and Jigman's like, no, I'm staying the hell out of there, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna up smash all the way over here. Please run into it. <laughs> it works a lot more than you think it would. Yeah, honestly. especially when the character you're fighting is just zooming around. And again, we have uh, Joshathan just kind of like letting it rip. My man's just like, yo, my Beyblades? My arms yeah. are my Beyblades. Joshathan <laughs> and adversity is not the best, but throwing out that Get spike at the right time. Okay, good. All right. I, I don't. That's an ass blast I've ever seen. Was, was that worth it? I. I uh, no, maybe. It, it, yeah. Once he finally got his platform <laughs> firmly planted onto the ground, it had suddenly become worth it. <laughs> Before then, it was like, ah, uh, yeah. I don't know if worth, buddy. I don't know. Yeah, it was gonna be like, at but at what cost? <laughs> and Jay made the read. Like he was just off by like a few inches. Oh, uh, nope. Oh, he didn't down tilt properly. I don't I don't know if he didn't have faith or if he just read the get off. Really? Down air? Whatever. Okay. Okay. I mean, despite everything, like, despite that large amount of damage that Josh has, like, he's still in a pretty good position to come back and up air is going to take it. <laughs> Very nice. Did he have Very any good. time to act? I don't think that was a nah, combo. Nah, he didn't. You think that he was, was at the combo? percent where it was basically true. Okay. Interesting. At least that's what it feels. It looks like if someone can confirm, that'd be great. But it definitely looked like uh, Jay Grant was just on top of him, like, literally the whole way. Because Grant just a lot to act out of uh, his counter pretty quickly. Uh, 
All right, so he got the uh, the first hit, but he decided to hold back, assuming that the Josh was going to DI in. Good jab, getting him off stage. All right, Josh is going to have to play catch up. Uh, you know, he can even this up pretty. I don't, I I don't even want to say easily or quickly. Jagron is very hard to catch. He's a very slippery one. If he gets a the if grab, he gets grab. definitely do it. Yeah. But it's like, how do you grab the, the slimy toad? Yeah, for sure. If he can pressure this edge guard, there we go. Up throw. There it is. Yeah. All right, 55 damage is nothing. 60, also nothing. 65, 83 is a little bit of something. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. The spike. It's real. Very nice by Jay Grunt. <laughs> you were just like so sure that you're going to kill your opponent that you just decide to pump with them into the blast zone. At zero percent. Yeah. I know there was like no chance that he was going to actually get hit, actually die from it, but it's just really funny. To me. Yeah, I mean like <laughs> once you land the hit, like... It's basically over. It doesn't have any other hitbox. Yeah, it slows That'll things down. That'll send them to, like, the side. Yeah, it slows them down where it's not going to miss. So, like, him just holding down is whatever. But man, oh, man. Ready? I respect the hustle. Hello, Squirrely T. I'm happy you're question marking in the commentary. Oh, well, it looks like he could have actually acted out of the thing, but maybe he just wasn't ready to jump out of it. Or maybe he was in the middle of the first jump frames. Oh, we that was that I'm gonna, again. I'm gonna see it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can see like he does like he oh, does do he? like a little bit of a, of a motion. He went for back air. He went for like the yeah. laggiest thing. He could have jumped. Could have jumped. Could have air dodge. Could have directional air dodge. What's the first actionable frame? So it's active on frame 19. All right, we're just having an all negative. PS2 uh, game uh, set here. Yeah, apparently, it's negative on shields. I mean, he didn't hit his shield. I'm just saying it's negative on shields, and it has 22 frames of a uh, 22 yeah. freeze frames. So that means technically, it has he has like 30 frames to act after the after the hit, assuming like it's not too long. Whatever, that's the last game. All right, so Are we Jersey because this is like a total PS2. Yeah, we got an all PS2 set. Uh, I, I like it. Ooh, that's not going to be stock enough yet, but it's some healthy damage. Wow. Okay. That's Man, a mix. He really landed that. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> sneezed right on him. Okay. Uh, all right, so Jostin, uh now with a lead. I, I, he he's definitely like a lot more comfortable in these positions. When when he has to play catch up, I, I feel like that's uh, his weakest suit. So if he's he able is, to keep he's this up, his owner. yeah. If he's able to keep this up, uh, we're, we'll see a game five. Okay. Something a lot of people don't realize is that when you're fighting a zoner character like Rob, you specialize specifically in keeping you out. The best thing to do is try to play the game slowly and get a lead as early as possible. Yeah. To force him to come to you. What? Okay, good uh, good spot dodge punish with the down smash. Not going to kill with that, but it covered both of the uh, the, the invincibility options. It didn't really require him to react exactly what I, I, I would have just, just hold block. <laughs> Wasn't going to do grab you. Like, who cares? That is true. <laughs> Oh, All right. Oh, not enough. And air dodge on PS2 under the stage. You tried. Ah, you poor boy. You tried to make it. You're going to just, you can just room. All right. Now this is Jay's chance to really even things up. I, I, I appreciate that mix up on the job. Side. Yeah. Just because he's like, I think he's going to do a panic option. And then just land. Good mash out. I'm not a fan of the water shuriken, but you know what? It's, he's fine. What was that? Was that up till getting cancelled out by Sh by, by Jaro? <laughs> yeah, up, up, okay. That's gonna Not be up, death. Just up throw. Bro, yeah, what? <laughs> You're gonna land on the platform. 
Yeah, I mean, Dude! you deserve that. I don't know. An eight I'm just 70? mad at you for not up throwing. Like, why? All right. Yeah, no, I gave him that max rage kill, but now it's even. Yeah. Even though it really shouldn't be. Yeah, this, this could have been heavily in Jonathan's favor. Anyway, even 0-0 zero, zero last stock. Let's see where this goes. Uh, Jay Grunt on set point here. Um, can Jonathan, uh, you know, has already, you know, dealt more damage. Uh, and even that's not really worth that much against his character. Yeah. He hits you with literally one thing and then he just combos you to heck it back. Ooh, okay, wow. All right, interesting. Down tilt. All right. He I was think... expecting the spot dodge after the second down tilt yeah. on the shield. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Okay. Oof. Honestly, not the worst. Yeah. Too many pummels Good match there. Good Jigrunt, though. I yeah. appreciate that. Oh, I like that. That run up you reverse. Uh, gyro, very nice. Oh! Oh my god, what? Alright. Se second lease on life, sure. Second lease on life there. Bro, what the f That was nuts. Alright. Alright, Jake, run off the stage. This can be really risky for him. No. Nope. Oh, it's over, dude! That interaction at the end was nuts. What the hell? Great job by Jay Grunt. Never losing composure, just keeping uh, keeping it all consistent. You know, a uh, few flubs, but you know, um, just really capitalizing on where Joshathan uh, just couldn't uh, bring it up. A really good tech from Josh then, actually. I didn't notice that he actually teched on the pillar itself. Yeah. Uh, off that back air. And all right, yeah, we're going to go directly into winner's finals. Uh, Jigrunt versus 808. And Zane beats Zach 2-0, uh, by the way. 67-67? Who else? Oh, I, you well, said the man, the myth, the mention. I wasn't sure. Zaka? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wasn't uh, sure. Zaka. I wasn't sure if that was a part of his name or you just odd. <laughs> <laughs> Zaka. F smash lean back away from up smash launcher kit. Yeah, apparently Squirrely. Is this is this the Squirrely, the man that looks like he's 15, 20 years old when he's actually 